One of the things that's unique about the harvesting business is that there are different needs even with our own geography. So the, the harvesting needs in northern Maine are different than New Hampshire and different than New York. And by working with Weiler, they have the ability to kind of customize the product for our territory and for our customers. One of the things I wanted on this Weiler was I wanted to be able to go from high and low tracking. But the problem was on any machine I've ever had, you've got to reach down and push a button. And you're holding big trees in your hand. You don't want to let go of the joysticks. So I told them my concerns. They came back and did a software update, and this one has a trigger right on it, so I can go to high to low without taking my hands off the joysticks. When I'm out in the field, I talk to the guys. They tell me, well, here's what I want the machine to do. And I can be basically like, OK, give me like five minutes. I'll let you try it. You tell me if it needs to change, and I'll change it. And then we'll just back and forth until it ends up like he wants it. If we need to make a change or we have a problem with a machine, it's super fast and I can get update kits made and parts sent out to the field. A lot of the customers that buy 157s have my cell phone number and call me at night when I'm home from work and give me updates on how the machine's doing or problems that they're having. There's a lot of feedback from the field and our customers wanting changes to the current product and Weiler has listened to that and we have changed our manufacturing processes and our design to accommodate. We try to keep everything in-house as far as controllability, which leads to quick changes. We're very flexible as a company, so we can listen to what the customer has to say and make those changes. Within the last year, we've made over 100 design changes to our current wheel skidders. Most of those were driven by the customers that have improved the reliability and durability of the product. When customers call, we don't wait and do a lot of looking and go after it right away. We try to make the changes right away. One customer may just want something that's insignificant to anyone else, but and it really helps what he does day in and day out. So we'll do something to help him. Once you get two or three people asking to do the same thing, it's pretty easy just to do it. And it never ceases to amaze me that people turn around and buy stuff from you if you give them what they want. And you know what, it's not really any more complicated than that. It was really interesting to see that they came out and they talked to us. I don't even know the number, how many of them they sell a year, and they took the time to come out and visit us. So it was nice. Four machines that are working in the woods, we haven't run onto anything that has taken the machine down yet. Pat Weiler and his son came to our office and talked with us and wanted our input. I was quite impressed. And I really see that they really paid attention on the skitters and especially on the feller bunchers. From the cat machine, the updates that Weiler made, they took a good product and made it great. When we started talking to customers, they were giving us a laundry list of stuff that needed to be improved. And that always is fun when you can make improvements to equipment and bring it back to customers and they say, wow, that's pretty cool, that's what we wanted. So the more information we get, the better.